Oh no, y'all, it's your boy Sinister. You already know, Team RG, we in the building, rise and grind. Hope everybody feeling good, feeling great, feeling blessed. All right, y'all, listen, I'm sitting out here. I got another video I'm going to bring y'all. As y'all know, I've been bringing y'all that real life chronicles of the struggle because the struggle is real. And I'm sitting here with a brand new night driver, and I'm going to let him introduce himself to all of y'all out there in the world. Introduce yourself. Tell them where you're from. I'm from Temecula, California. I'm 21 years old. My name's Jalen. There you go. Now, Jalen, you on, uh, you in Squire on, in Squire, right? Yep, that's right. Okay, so he's here in Phoenix right now. So before you got tonight, what were some of your trials and tribulations? What were some of the struggles that you had to deal with just to get here? Well, I dealt with three different companies, trying to get on with three different companies. The first one was a company of transport. Right. They went ahead and sent me a little pre-hire letter, and I took that over to uh, Rollmaster School. Then I started the school. They told me financing all that was approved, and so I started the right. school after doing it for a whole week. They told me financing was denied due to credit. I need a co-signer $1,500 down. It kind of broke my dreams right then and there. Right. Kept my head up, and um, uh, since I had that week of uh, training already, I took that and went, and get, went ahead and got my permit. Mm -hmm. And then I went home and showed it to my mom. I said, Mom, I already got my permit. And she said she's just not in the situation to help me out right now. And so, so she can't so she can co-sign for you to go back to Roadmasters. Yep. So then, okay, so that was out of the question. And you got the permit from Covenant. When you uh, was, yeah. Okay, so you was at Covenant training. for a week. Mm -hmm. After got training. the permit. Okay. Yep. So what, what you do after she told you moms couldn't help you out? I went ahead and call, uh, called my job back and told them that I was able to work full time again. Okay. Trying to get the money up. Where was you working at? Del Taco. Oh, you was making taco. Okay, you was at yeah. Taco Bell. Yeah, like, that. is that Taco Bell? No, Del Taco. They got Del, Del taco, taco and Taco Bell. Oh, okay. Yep. And what was the pay? What was the pay per hour there? Out there, I was making. Uh, I was a shift manager. I was making uh, eleven seventy five. Okay. Okay, and that's California, right? Yep. California minimum wage out there is ten. Okay, okay. So the cost of living out there is expensive, like New York, ain't it? Oh, it's, it's super expensive. Gas is running like $3 a gallon right Ooh. now. Apartments Struggle. are running 1700 for a little two-bedroom. 1700 for a what? Two-bedroom apartment. Yo, hey. he said a two-bedroom is 1700 The struggle is real. Living uncomfortable. Yeah, that's right. I was barely making it make my car payment, pay rent, and that was it. Wow. So you was only making enough to pay the rent, the car note, mm -hmm. and what else? That's about it. Maybe the phone bill. Out of wow. two different checks, I'd have to do is split up bills over the next. Sometimes I'd have to say, okay, I can make this payment next this month. I can make this half of this payment this week, and just do it like that. Wow. And was your lady working at the time? No, she go to school full time. Yeah. So you had to be the breadwinner. Yeah, that's right. I mean, how did that make you feel? You know, like <laughs> as the man, you know us. Man, we, we feel a certain type of way when our money ain't right. Yeah, that's right. You know, what were some of the things that was running through your mind at that time? When you just, you know, you pay the rent, and then you look at your bank account, you like... It made me feel kind of low, embarrassed, you know, that kind of got yeah. to tell my girl, like, oh, I'm on a budget, I can't afford this, or... Right. Or, um, we can't do this, I want to be able to take my girl here, take her here. And you can't even take her out? Yeah, can't take her out. I've been there. Worrying about, oh, is the car going to get repo this month? How are we going to get around? We can't go do our thing. Right. Wow. So, you back at Bell Taco. What was the what was the next step after that? Then I went ahead and, um, so after that, I seen, um, was it, it was Swift Transportation. I seen them online, so I went ahead and shot them my application real quick. Filled it out. She told me, she called me back after about a day. Told me everything cool. We ran all this. You ready to go? We got your uh, hotel set up, everything. So once again, I quit Delta. Well, not quit, drop my hours to part time, like maybe one day a week. Right, right. Taking the chance. So you got up to Swift. Yep, got up to Swift out here in uh, Fontana, California. Right. And I did one day of school, and my uh, recruiter calls me and says that uh, about something about an accident didn't pop up at the first time, and they just seen it and they got to DQ me from the program. Okay, so let's run this back. The struggle is real. That's right. Went to Covenant for a week, got the permit. They used a third party tester, which was Roadmasters. Get the Roadmasters, you there just about a week. 
the loan didn't get approved, mm -hmm. so they had to DQ you. You went, hey, moms, I need you to co-sign. Moms is not in a position to be able to co-sign for you. And most likely, they're going to probably want you to put 2500 down. Yep, 15 Oh, okay, 15 Right there. And nobody got 1500 off the rip out their pocket. So back to Bell Taco, you go. Then you get in contact with Swift. You go there. And you said that was the first day they pulled that? Yep, I was in four hours just finished all my paperwork. And four hours later, on day one, DQ'd. The struggle is real. He had to live uncomfortable. Yep. So what happened after Swift? So then I went back to Del Taco full time. And I'm sitting in, um, I believe it was a parking lot of the parking lot right behind Swift, which is Del Taco. Right. Where I work, but not at that location. I'm sitting there eating my lunch and I see CRST online. So I shoot them an app. Right. At this point, all my applications are already just pre-filled out because right. I applied at so many companies. So I shoot them an app real quick. They contact me back saying that everything's good, except for one thing, my accident on my record. They need a police report for it, which was three years ago. There no report was taken because there was no injuries. I told them that. Right. After three days, three or four days going back and forth with him over the phone, he finally just tells me, we can't hire you without that report. Okay. Is the struggle real for y'all? For y'all sitting home, is that struggle real or what? Went to Covenant for a week, got the permit. Went to Roadmasters, was there for a week, got DQ'd. Went back to Bell Taco, start working. $11? It was $11, $11 no? $11.75. 11 as a shift manager. Then went to Swift. Four hours later, day one, DQ'd. Went back to, you still, you went right back to yep. Del Taco. Saw CRST, did the app. They gave you the runaround. Yep. We can't hire you. So, the struggle is real. Uncomfortable. That's what it is. The, the struggle is so real. People out here had to live uncomfortable just to get to that next level. So what happened after that? At this point, I'm thinking my life is literally over. I'm sitting in the McDonald's parking lot around the corner from my house, which is where I was at when CRC right. called me back. I think it was four days later. I'm sitting there grabbing some lunch, thinking my life is just over. I'm sitting here like, okay, I don't got no full checks coming in because I've been in between different programs. Right. I haven't worked a full week. I've been part-time, full-time, and so basically my checks are going to sit here and be maybe 500 bucks. Car right. payment is 343, so I'm sitting here like, what the so hell? So the, the car payment was three and change, mm -hmm. 343. Yeah. What was the rent? Rent, Um, I would just have to pay like utilities or something. Right. Something around the house, okay. buy my groceries, just help out with whatever I could. And then the phone bill was one 140. And then car insurance is two forty. Wow. And then yeah, that five hundred dollar check up. Gas, gas being three dollars a gallon costs like fifty bucks to fill up out there. Right. So I'm sitting here thinking, okay, my life's over. I'm really in a bad situation. So I says, I, I've always always knew of Knight. I used to know someone who works here. I used to roll with him uh, when he was shooting from California, to Arizona, right. real quick. Roll with him. And I'm thinking, well, a company like Knight, that big, that good, the company that I hear always good things about. I'm like, I can't get hired with them. Ain't no way. So I go online, I just look at the requirements. And my heart stopped when I seen that I actually do meet the requirements. Right. I'm literally right there on the line about one more violation line, and yeah. I, I mess it up. So I'm sitting here and I shoot them an app. At this point, my application, I don't gotta fill it out no more. It just fills it in and I hit submit. And so then I speak with the lady down here, the recruiter for the CDL school. And she calls me back the following, I believe Monday, and tells me, okay, everything's golden. And I sat here and I told her, I said, I've already been DQ from so many programs. I'm at an all-time low. And I got to go and quit my job and go out to Arizona for this training. I want to make sure that I'm good to go. And she right. promised me, she told me, as long as you're honest with what you put on the application, you're good to go. So I go home and I'm sitting here thinking, okay, here we go again. What's going to happen this time around? This time I'm going to Arizona. At this point, I had to actually put my bank account negative to get the gas to come Ooh, out here. Had a negative bank account. Yep. I had um Comfortable. I had to run it as credit on my debit card wow. so that it'll approve the transaction. So you got a gas. backdraft. So when you get money deposit, they taking that. Yep. So I get out here and I'm sitting here in my hotel 
And I'm like, okay, tomorrow's my first day. It's Sunday night. Right. Monday morning rolls around. I'm sitting in school, or in an orientation, sitting here, okay, is any bad news going to run by me? I get done with the first day. Second day rolls around. I'm like, okay, I made it to day two. It has to be good. It has to be good. Ain't nothing going to come back. Third day comes around. I'm sitting here like, okay, it has to be the one. It has to be the one. We get coded today. We get our badges, everything today. And then about uh, 11 o'clock, I, I look at my email. I've been checking all morning for my, pre my post hire documents. Around 11 o'clock, uh, yeah, I believe it was 11 o'clock, mm -hmm. it comes through and it says, Congrats on your next step in your career to, with Night Transportation. You are officially hired. Fill out all your. And I'm sitting here filling out my I 9 documents and, and my W 2s. Uh, w 2s. And, 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 yeah. and sitting here, I'm saying, This is real. Yeah. This happened. Yeah. I'm officially a night employee. How, I mean, how did you feel? Like, I, I didn't all know of how that. I feel. All of that obstacles you went through and you know moms wasn't able to help you and back to that job and then you know like if you did tell people you was going in the truck and then you go back and they look at you like yeah I thought you was going in the truck and what that's happened what it was, yep and that's what I'm saying I'm sitting here and I posted on Facebook several times oh I can't wait to start with Swift Transportation this and that and then it's just it keeps going back and forth and everyone can't keep up they're like wait night CRST what hold on wait a second which right. one's you really at and now I can really say I'm a night employee. And there you go. And I ain't been DQ'd and, and it worked out. And it just shows me the type of company that they were honest with me from the start. And they did their truthful background checks on what they needed to check, DMV background. They they checked it all from the start. Right. The other Before companies. they even made you get all the way over here to tell you no. Yep, that's right. So, for all of y'all sitting home, you see, you I know some of y'all, I, I I, I, we sitting right here at this table and we sitting at this table for a reason the lighting is the way it is because I know a lot of y'all sitting home right now feeling like y'all the only ones sitting in the dark like why my life gotta be like this this is how some of y'all feel like y'all just in the dark but listen let me tell y'all something if he can do it and I can do it you can do it but you're gonna get them doors closed on you you're not gonna always have it easy Nah, because the struggle is real. And when the struggle is real, you're going to live uncomfortable. That's right. And that's what it is. And he had to do things that was uncomfortable. But he sat there and said to himself, I'm going to keep going. So what's your future goals now? My future goals is this is a whole new lifestyle. This is a whole new thing. And I'm loving it so far. I've loved everything that has come my way so far. Right. Um, I my start off as a company driver to see where it takes me, owner or op, mm -hmm. uh, where wherever it goes, wherever it goes. That's right. my goal. Is my goal is to just make it. I want to be able to buy a house by this time next year. Right. Start paying my car off. Start right. them because I'm already two months behind on them payments, so I need to catch two up. Two months on them. behind on the car yeah. notes. The struggle is real. And the whole time I've been in this program, every uh, Friday I go back to California to work a little part time job I got going on out there. Woo! And I come back Sunday night. I get off around 11 o'clock at night. and I head So out you're here from Monday to Friday? We're here Monday to Friday, and I shoot home to so California. So then you drive from Phoenix back to California? Yep. Done it three times so far. The struggle was real, y'all. Every weekend. The struggle was real. And if he can do that, and then my boy can take the bus from Atlanta, Georgia, to Salt Lake, mm -hmm. then my other boy lost his wife and then his daughter passed away, and they came out here and do it, What's your excuse why you can't do it? Get up. I know you hurting right now. I know you feeling that pain. I know you tired of feeling like you're not a man. I know you tired of that low paying job. I know you tired of that supervisor. Come on, get that permit. Go to the CDL, go to the, go to the DMV, get the book, study the book. Get the CDL permit. If you need a school to get training, I got the hookup, hit me up, email me. My email is in the description box down below. You can hit me up at Mr. Sinister the Trucker at gmail.com. If you're on Facebook, you can find me on Facebook. Get it going. Don't let the life. Listen, for every new level, there's a new devil. And you got to always keep fighting to challenge yourself. And even when it gets good, you're still going to have obstacles. But you got to stay focused. Because as long as you believe your life going to get better, it will get better. But it all starts with that thought in your mind. Any advice for anybody back home? Just keep your head up. It ain't over. 
You there you go. Like it's over. I felt like it was over so many times. And if there I would have gave up, I would not be sitting where I am today. It ain't over. You got to keep your head up. Keep pushing. Because if you don't, how do you expect to get further? How do you expect to advance and get past the struggle if you just keep yourself in the struggle? You can't keep yourself in the struggle. Get yourself out of the struggle. The only one who could do it is you. That's it. Because your mama ain't going to do it for you. Your daddy ain't going to do it for you. You're going to have to turn the TV off. You're going to have to read the book. You're going to have to sit in DMV and do the answers. Even if you don't want to be a truck driver and you want to be a nurse, a doctor, whatever profession, you want to be a manager, be the best, be the ruthless grinder that you know you can be. And this is your boy Sinister and Jalen. Jalen. Yep. Out here telling you his trials and tribulations. Because why? The struggle is real. Holla at y'all later, man. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Y'all already know. All right. Later.